Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, last episode, <laughs> we killed some uh, skeleton enemies here, right when we did the outro. And today, we're gonna check this place out. The Akala Ancient Tech Lab that has supposedly, supposedly been taken over by the Giga Clan. As we can see with all this Giga merch everywhere. Let's just sure? go up here and talk to them. What is it? Wait. You? Sure? It's Link. Get ready for battle. <laughs> They're mad. A big dude and a small dude. Kill the small dude early. <laughs> Wow, that's a heavy hit. And I haven't done cooked any food yet, because <laughs> I didn't think about it between the episodes here. I just wanted to get straight to fighting. Ah, please. No, oh, we missed somehow. I take it for free, gladly. Are those two-handed, actually? Oh, they are. That's not good. That mean now? This is ridiculous. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make you a little uniform without any more complaints, I swear. Hold up. Hey. Hey, Superstar. You're not with the Giga Clan, aren't you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. If you need rescuing, I guess. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Uh, I've been cooped up here in forever. My name is Konba. I got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. Alas, that pure talent is why the Giga clan kidnapped me and forced me to, t to make their outfits for them. Oh. Who is it here? We can get the Giga outfit so we can do the Giga quest line. Down in the southwest. Uh, if I ever see... See one of those tacky rags again, it'll it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Giga armor I just finished, burn it, toss it, do what you want. Just get it away from me. Nice, nice, nice. Ah! Now we have a lot of sneak uh, clothes. The look may lack, but my ta tailoring is subl sublime. Uh, if you wore the whole set, you fit right in with the Giga clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of the hair before they get back. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. Something tells me it will happen again. <laughs> See you around and thanks for the save. That's probably how we're gonna get the whole kit. He will be captured in a new place where we can find the next piece and so forth. Yep. There is the why we were going here in the first place. Let's just explore this fully. Oh my god, that's sneaky actually. <laughs> I could have easily missed this. Not really impossible to get into though. I'm not sure that was worth. For real, was that everything here? Some arrows, huh? <laughs> That's value. It must be something more up here. Really, is it nothing up here? That's weird. Nothing at all, no? So maybe the plan is to go back and talk to... Robbie and he will tell us 
what we should do with the Giga Clan situation. Some arrows at least, which is nice. So let's... Uh... Ah... This is probably something that we should pay attention to. Yeah, yeah, because this is... This is like where the Giga... Look... The Giga places are. Because if we look here, that's where we are right now. And this was the one that I've told, told earlier here in, in the southwest. Uh, so we have one there and also one next to the left of the lost forest. So I guess we're gonna get the piece, the gear pieces there and there. And with those three pieces, we can go in here, which is like their base, like their central base. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so first of all, let's just travel down to Robbie. Took the took the wrong uh, quick travel point. It's okay. Can always ascend here. There we go. With these apples, we really need a refill on. So I will take the time and try to collect them all. There is the last one. I know the Purapad isn't full yet, but now it will be. Of course you want the travel medallion feature. Who wouldn't want to travel instantly to wherever you want? I will need my travel medallion prototype, which is in the Akalat Ancient Tech Lab. Sorry, but... Hmm. Wait. Do I detect the unmistakable odor of my old home on you? What? Then... You already have it? Good job. That will do the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your pura pad. Oh. Now give me just a moment. Nice. Ta-da! I added that to your key items, so you never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. Then, at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? I wonder what I could what I could do if I ha had even more data. However, I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then I, it hit maximum capacity. So, I can create a link between the pad and the second location, but for that I need about 10 map data locations. That we should have. Which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instruction for this feature too. Hang on for a minute. Okay, the details look correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go, the operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want. Just read the post it there. Okay, so that one... Once 10 regions have been mapped, a second travel medallion can be activated. Don't I have? It's hard to, to know which are parts. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, but this is two points I know. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have at least ten actually. But can't I just talk to you directly? What? You got the data? Hurry up and let me see that pura pad. Of course I got the data there. Now give me just a moment. Ta-da! I added that extra one to your key items, so you never lose the ability to use it. Given the maximum capacity, I could add the ability to create one more of those. Uh, I can create a link between the pad and the third location, but for that I need about 15 map data locations. Do I have 15?
<laughs> okay, I don't have it yet. And how do I use the travel thing? Uh, the travel medallion feature lets you create a travel gate at any spot you like to return to instantly. You'll see the number of gates you can cu currently make in your key items. A gate is easy to create. Go to the place where you want to put it, then select the travel medallion. After that, you can travel to that spot instantly by selecting it on the map, just like shrines. If you delete a travel gate on the map, you can create a new one. Okay. And do I have it in here? Key items, isn't this key items? Okay, in place, okay. Nice, nice, nice. So where we're off to now then? Because that didn't really do anything of these quests that we're up here doing. And we have some quests still there, so let's go back to the to the stables. Because we had a quest like right outside of the stables, some enemies to kill. Here we can create a car directly, I think. Oh, don't you dare to fall down. Okay. Oh, there's a... Baroque as well. What is this? Sniffle, what's the matter? There's one thing I want to no matter what. What do you want? To kill you. Yeah. Why are all the Giga dudes stripped out in the designer clothes? I only have two handed, huh? That's classic. That's unfortunate. Nice. Okay. Let's just... That should be a side quest, right? Yeah, these ones. Oops. <laughs> there it goes. Maybe not the most valuable car that I have built. What the hell do they want me to do here? So it's three wide all over the place, except here in the in the end here. So we're gonna make it three wide, huh? That's the plan. That means that some of the parts should slide in also. Okay. That's two. So we're like missing the whole part on one side. And I think it should be a hole inside. I think that's uh, by design. So is this actually the correct way already? If I just slide it up there. It's close of being correct, but it's not quite. I think I see what I have to do. Yeah. One more, then we have a weapon slot. Here it would have been nicer to have the car. But I dropped it somewhere. What is that? That's a steering wheel. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's a shrine also. I will just do this so I don't forget it, but I missed my snipe. Yeah, delete that. I will remember it. I tell myself at least. Come on. Let me glide a bit more here. So I get the Oh no, I saw silver dudes. That makes me not so happy. Okay. Always a smart way of approaching this this fight. I also have like zero food. <laughs> Which is not the best. Should probably try to sneak strike someone at least. It would be nice to sneak strike the silver dude, because they have so much HP. Also, maybe we can try to snap a picture on this dude. That's good. This we have probably already taken on. Yeah. That's also nice looking. Can he turn around or something? At least one of them. I guess not. Of course, now you turn around, huh? Still don't see me. A bit tired and hungry. I can help you with that. And put you to sleep if you want. Is that enough? Yeah. And he didn't see that. That's actually great. It's a bit alarmed though. I think we will manage here. But I don't think this will be a one shot though. No. But if we're quick, we might. Kill him like that. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. It's gonna eat some quick food of some type. They uh, don't heal at all almost. Eh, what can we eat? That are not wasteful. I guess these ones. Let's climb up here quickly. It would be nice to take this guard out as well. Oh, don't you dare. Why did I freaking jump up the wrong way? Good thing that this doesn't hurt. Okay, who are left? Who are left? Who are left? One silver dude. Okay, so here we wanna focus the silver dude. And we wanna do it with some damage. Oh no, he has that on. Then we have to blow him up first. Why not just use these? 444 bright seeds, huh? That's crazy. No headshot. No headshot. That's headshot. Did this actually hit twice? Oh, it's my bow that hits twice, of course. Let me change bow, because we don't need the twice hitting bow here. Oh. Hello, dude. That's a nice little crit. It's weird that they die from just 
Owing to the water. Oh my god. Is that a mistake? Oh, it still works. Nice. Any chest on this boat? Yeah. Ooh, and a lot of fish. That's a nice boat. Yes, we will drop. One of these for that. See some new fish. Let's just snap a pick on them. While we have them so easily here. He's gonna get shocked here. What up, dude? <laughs> Boom. Here, also, take this present from me. Nice. This place is netting us a lot of arrows. Wondering if it's something up here. Probably some arrows. Oh, this is like the boss. The boss place, huh? Uh oh, a lot of people. I'm scared. I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's gain some height here. Wow, for real? For real? I aim really much to the side here. Wait, what does this bow do? Why does it drain my battery? Is it like applying extra damage from that? That's a nice headshot. Bye bye. Oh. Nice. Maybe I can ascend here actually. Or not. Okay, nice. A lot of loot here. Ooh, nice. I want that actually. Mm, why not drop that? We still only have two handles, which is not nice. I was just gonna say this place has at least netted us a lot of arrows, but that's not true because I have used a lot of arrows as well. But I guess we're done here now, so let's go back and turn in the quest.
We wouldn't stand a chance against those monsters if they decide to attack this stable. Maybe I should look for a job somewhere else. South Akala stable might have some op openings. <gasps> what? You defeated every last one of them? Hold on a second. It's not that I don't believe you, but I need to check for myself. It's the only way I sleep at night. You can go and check. <gasps> you weren't kidding. I can't believe it. There were so many monsters before, but now they're gone. At least for this blood moon. <laughs> Well, you're amazing. I'm sorry, I'm just so surprised. I mean, you don't look all that strong. Nice. To get, like, disrespected when you help someone out here. But you've been such a huge help. I can already feel the stress those monsters are causing, leaving my body. Thank you. Hey, that reminds me, do you have a pony point card? I sure do. Uh... Let me just add two points for you to show my thanks. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll give this to you too. Ooh, and the records. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want my reward now. I receive reward. Ah. Ah, yes. I'll be right with you. Oh. You like to get your pony point reward, right? Ah. As a reward for 16 points, you can now enjoy a main restyling service. This lets let you change the look of your horse mane. Treat your favorite steed to a new hairdo. If you save up just three more points, oh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, before I forget, because otherwise it will be long gone in my memory, the shrine that we saw over here. Let us just jump down to it. Was this the girl that was crying before? That was a Giga person? This is such a G game. If that goes like this, then this happens, but then that has to be like this or else. Oh, I don't get it at all. Do you get it? I get it. Indeed. I'm so shocked. Didn't go so good for you, huh? Mr. Yiga dude. Am I even going the right way? Yeah. I think I might have jumped a bit early here. Oh, there is the shrine. So yeah, a bit early I jumped down. It's okay. Jeez, we must have a picture on. No? Isn't that the one that we need for the quest also? Oh my god, that's a miss. Let's try out how good... I'm gonna use all the battery here. See if it helps. Boom! And then... Quickly one more, and then quickly change bow, not sniper bow, that's good to keep. Let's use this, I guess. Ah, too much changing of bows. I don't think we got any good money here. No, only low values. A bit unfortunate. Got them always freaking. Uh, it's a light lightning storm over here in this part of the map. Let's go in. Clotional brilliance. 
rotational brilliance. I guess we're gonna cut this. <laughs> For some reason. Did this just go there? Cannot be in the water while I recall. Was that really everything that you had to do? I guess the ball should be carried with us here. This will make this one like flick, like that. And then we just go to that one. And now we can fly. And we can grab the ball with us, if we want. I say, why not? Maybe we can use it. I get my depth perception. I was gonna say that's not cent pretty centered. Maybe it's good enough. Let's see here. Ah, it will float like that, of course, of course. But I think that's good enough, actually. As always, my depth perception suck. We should be able to stand here. Wow. No. I do not want. Maybe I should have attached the fan before we put it out in the water. Why not just attach it over there? But do I see a ball as well needed to get over here? And where should that ball be? I don't know. I hope this one of these two will be enough. Yes, restructure this little thing. So that's a weight platform. I think this whole thing should be weighing at least enough. Yeah. Nice, nice. Was that the fourth for now? Like the Blessing of Light? It is, so now we can do full stamina. What does the quest say here for me? Stone Talus, Mulduga, Lionel Horn, near the entrance to the Tempest Gulash. Elden Colossal. Maybe we should check out the fossils actually. A 
we're not done with that quest because we haven't taken the weapon from him. This is like from the Sora domain earlier, the Sora domain. From the lookout tower. So let's just go and complete that, otherwise it will never be done. Cause I was like, why is he just chilling here still after we have helped him? <laughs> now I understand why. He has wanted to give us a spear for all this time. Thank you. Now you can be done with the quest. Nearby down below, huh? Now you got me intrigued here. Where is a shrine? <laughs> Why not just blow these dudes up? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Nearby down below. Still nearby down below, huh? Yeah, you can spit how much you want. It must be underneath this. Otherwise, I'm crazy. I'm crazy, huh? How can it not be here? It's like it's like the logical entrance, I would say. That sucks. It also looks like an entrance. Almost. Here's a Kuroko place, at least. You want me to climb? Good thing I have the... This one. Oh my god, I'm almost out of time there. We managed. Maybe not the most useful weapon to use on these guys. So where the hell can this shrine be, huh? And now it says underneath. I don't like this when I'm just running around without a plan in my head. Feels a little, really wasteful of time here. So where can this damn shrine be, huh? This waterfall is a perfect place to have the shrine hidden. Is that a... Oh. I'm like, is this a cave entrance? Can be, but I don't think it is. I think we might have to give up on the shrine here soon. This is a uh, Kuroko at least. <laughs> it's nice that we have found those at least today. Oh my, I can't run with it, of course. 
So we will actually place this here. Drop. Okay. Nice. Then we're gonna go to lookout landing and upgrade the weapon slot. Because now we have... Oh, we even had 12 already. So I'm not gonna find the shrine here. <laughs> I don't think. So let's just... Go here. I also want to see if, like, Yosha has something new to tell us. A while since we talked to her. Oh. Hi, Swordsman. Listen to this. I received new info about the depths. Mm -hmm. Some investigator followed the stone statue discovered at the bottom of the chasms. Oh. Uh, the stone statue led to directly beneath Sora's domain, and they discovered evidence of a civilization there. When we dug a little deeper, we learned that the statue in the southwest led to beneath Gerudo Town. I was thinking uh, there may be a connection between the surface and the depths. So I tried investigating the chasms in every region to follow my hunch. And then we found a new chasm on the cliff face at Rito village in Hebra to the northwest. Maybe that's just what we should do also. Continue on the Giga clan in the depths quest. Because that's a fun quest line. Uh, next I'm thinking of having them check whether it's possible to go directly under the village from that point. I've been learning one thing after another about the depths lately. It's gotten me super motivated. I'll keep gathering info about the depths so that I can be useful to you, Swordsman. Check back later, okay? Oh. I bet other people can feel that we're getting close to figure out more about, about the princess. You and me, Swordsman, I just know we can do this. Indeed we can, indeed we can. What is this rolling little ball? Stop. It's you, huh? Just let it go. Ooh, 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 a lot of gear has appeared here. Flame guard, stealth, radiant, snow. But all I ever want is arrow. Thank you, thank you. And cheese? Nah. Chakalaka, dude. Yes. Yes. The weapon stash. Yes. And also, I want to know where I can start on the Master Sword questline. So I have no clue where I should go for that. So I feel like... Um, it should be around here to get that quest line. Stamina. Let's max it out. Very nice. Now it's full. There's no need to increase your stamina vessels further. Go and bring peace to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With full stamina. That's gonna make everything so much more enjoyable. So we're gonna get, go down to the depths, but first let's just talk to Pura here. Hmm. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Hmm. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito, and the marbled rock rose that the Gorons couldn't get enough of, and finally the sludge contaminating the Sora's water supply. All of these things connect to Princess Zelda somehow. Hmm. That must have been exceptionally challenging, Link. But thanks to your efforts, some normalcy has returned. Entrusting those areas to you was the right decision after all. It has become clear as day that there is a connection between Prison Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I anticipated. You need to hurry to, to the remaining regions, and soon. 
And we need to investigate the other places I'm concerned about too. Uh, okay. That's nothing new. So let's go to Rito Village. First, let's just turn that quest line on. I guess it's a side adventure and the master of the Giga Kuga Kiga clan. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm lost. Here it is. Yeah, so here should some entrance be. Correct, correct. Let's go here then. We haven't been in Rito Village since since we did the quest line also, so it can be nice. So it can be nice uh, just exploring quickly the town here as well, see if something has changed. And also buy all your arrow supply. Oh, I have to sell some things first. I can say, I oh, should probably read. Thanks to the kids, my shop is back in business. Even now that she doesn't need to run the shop anymore. Chris going around the village adver advertising for me. Plus with the blizzard gone, I can stay stocked up on products again. With a bit of work, my shop will be better than ever. <laughs> that shop being the Slippery Falcon General Store. Browse at your ah. leisure. What brought you here? I want to sell. Ah. Uh, what do I have for you? I'm not really sure. Let's take a look. Those are worth a lot of money. Uh, we can s probably spare two of these. <laughs> can probably spare at least three of these. Maybe five of these. <laughs> and maybe 40 of these. Why not? <laughs> maybe 10 of these. Ah, let's do 15. <laughs> nice, now we're rich again. But soon to be broke after we're going on a shopping spree here. Ah. Like I want this oil. It's really good. You can make some uh, fried chicken, for example. Whoa. Why not take the goat butter as well? Ah. And your sugar. Ah. And your wheat. Whoa. The mushrooms I will leave. Those I don't need. What's in stock for here? Nothing we really want. Some cooking station. Which I'm in need of, but not for right now. Ah, here's some quests. Now where was it again? Hmm, that cave, where was it? Oh, hello. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with the Tulin to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again, without them icing over. So thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock rather than in green light inside it. Just like the one beneath the general store. Just where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. The white bird's guidance. A shrine quest. Uh... Yeah, there were, were a mushroom in it and a pond with a fish. It would, uh, would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is that I found it while looking for that white bird. There was a white bird. Oh. Yeah, have you ever looked up to the peak of the spire here in Rito Village? Cannot really say that I had done it. I've been on the top of it. Found the Kuroko seed. Uh, that bit jutting over sideways looks kind of like a bird perch, right? We call it the Van Meadow perch. So it's like a wood... A beak. Is it beak it's called? The, the, like the mouth of the birds? 
Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when the dawn was breaking. Right about then, I looked to the west and saw a white bird resting atop the long shadow of the perch. Ooh. It's weird for a bird to rest on a shadow, right? I was curious, so I went to go and have a look where I saw the bird. Thing is, I couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead, I found a cave entrance. It's kind of like the white bird led me to the cave. I don't know why I can't remember all that so, so clearly, but now... I don't know why I can remember all that so clearly, but not where the cave was. Any standout details? Hmm... Was there anything that stood out? Let me think. I was lucky to find it. I don't think the area around the entrance was anything special or memorable. Oh. But it was right next to a resting white bird, that much I do remember. Deep inside, I could make out a rock reddening green light, like the one that's beneath the general oh. store now. Ah, uh, If I could just remember where I found it. We have one more place to search for food. So it's a dawn, br break of dawn or something like that. Uh, when she tried to go after the bird was gone. Uh, atop the shadow of Van Mado perch in early morning. Yeah, so it's in the early morning. And it is actually morning at the moment, but is it too late? That I'm not sure about. Here comes the inspector, sure, sure, sure. So sleepy. You deserve to sleep after all. All the winter you've been gone through here. Who knows, right? Hi. Hey Link, thanks you. Thanks to you. Life in Rito Village is slowly getting back to normal. I've been looking into leads about Princess Zelda, and I let you to and I let you know right away if any of them go somewhere. <gasps> oh yeah, one other thing. I don't think this has anything to do with where the Princess went, but Hearth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of the books. Sturnida, Guflams, and Sherfis, Sherfins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountain. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. There's gotta be something good waiting for those who solve that riddle, right? I guess so. Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to Sturdina's secret hot spin a few times in northwest of Rito village. <laughs> At the best, a quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing too. But I don't know, don't know about the other... Uh, the Hebra mountains are a big place. I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. If only we could find it. What do you want to say? I was proud to be with my great eagle bow. Bow. To my fully fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave to Tulin was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. But I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. If you want your own great eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. Those materials might not be easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, then the bow is yours. Oh, so he told me... Swallow bow, five bundles of wood, three... Diamonds we have. Swallow bow... We don't have. So then, we cannot do anything more for now. Do you have a quest? Uh. Thank you for saving our village, Link. Were you seeking Kaneli? He's out and at the flight range at the moment. When the blizzard struck, he volunteered to ensure the flight range was not damaged by the re relentless snows. Though the blizzard had subsided now, he seems content to stay there. Ooh, I want to do a flight challenge. Flight range is beyond the flags visible to the north. As my husband Tiba has assumed the duties of our elder, Kaneli has offered to devote himself to flight to the Lash. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last word there. While he is away, I have made keeping his house my responsibility. Oh my god, that I'm not gonna remember. If I don't do it straight ahead. Let's do this. Maybe not a heart, do a star. <sighs> now it's 7 a.m., huh? Yep. 
Let's climb this. Ah, thought that would be enough. Okay, I can't stand still now. I think it's easier to just jump up. Then try to find a sand place. Because we have so much time in at the moment. Oh no. I was close to falling down. Here maybe we can ascend. Please. We have such a good angle here for ascending. This should be able to. That will not take us all the whole way up, I don't think. Or maybe it will, because we're in here for a long time now. Yeah, this must be the top. Yeah. Okay, so sh they told me if I stand on this... And then was some shadow. And then to the right. Left, not right. So let's read that... Quest. No. It was a shrine quest. Where are shrine quests? There is shrine quest. The white bird gu guidance. Uh, when she tried to... Okay. When you asked what she could remember about it, she said that she saw a white bird sitting atop of the shadow of Van Meadow's peach at early morning. When she tried to go after it, the bird was gone. And, it, and in its place was the entrance to a cave. So it was an entrance to a cave... Up here? That cannot be true. Okay, so let me just stand some somewhere here. So I can see the beak. And then... I'm freezing cold, it looks like. So we're gonna change at least one piece of clothing. That's enough. Then we need... Some wood. Fire, boom, and some rest. A white bird. Am I stupid or <laughs> where should the white bird be? Ah, oh, that's maybe the white bird. But that's freaking pink also. But maybe that is the... Maybe it's actually this thing that's the entrance. Because this place looks a bit sus. I'm not sure what they talk about this white bird, though. Oh. At least it should be a Kuroko in here. Or something. That's not a Kuroko. But maybe, I guess you, you should have to fix... Oh my god. The thing is, you should fix this roof here. Nice that I see nothing. Like that. I did find you. Bye bye. Well, no cave here. A lot of birds. <laughs> Not sure how they. How you should find just a white bird from all of those. Actually, the birds left there also. So maybe those birds have something to do with it. 
When you ask what she could remember about it, she saw she saw a white bird sitting atop of the shadow of Van Meadow's perch as early morning. When she tried to go after it, the bird was gone, and in its place was the entrance to a cave. That's super trippy and weird. But I guess that mystery will be for another episode. Because looking at the time, we have approached the one hour mark here. Have you enjoyed watching today's episode? Please consider liking the video, it helps me a lot. And also subscribe if you wanna keep on watching this playthrough so we don't miss any future episodes. This has been 23, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.